Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brad, and welcome back to Screamin' Pirate EDC. Today, we have uh, an unboxing, but um, it's a little bit of a special one for me, personally. Um, I've won one of these for quite a while, and it just never came about. Um, so this knife that we're unboxing today is a Koenig Mini Goblin. Now, at Blade Show this year, 2021, I talked to uh, Bill Koenig and his sister Krista about uh, production of the Mini Goblins. Found out that they actually stopped production in 2019, and they plan on kicking production back up in 2022, but there are none right now. So if you're getting one, it's the aftermarket, and they're rare. So I've been kind of biding my time and just waiting for one. Now, before we get into the unboxing, let's have a little bit of consistency. I don't have a mug on me today, I know, shocker, but let's see what else I have. My Hank is going to be the Middle Earth Map Hank. This is from Renegade EDC, obviously, love it. My coin is going to be the Admiral coin, and this is from Mendoza EDC over on Instagram. My pin for today and my pry bar, I'm gonna show you at the same time, my pin is the uh, raw brass Fisher space pin, and my pry bar is the Vero Fulcrum. There you go, guys. Um, love both these, very small, fit in my pocket very well. My unboxing knife, since, you know, we're getting into a mini goblin with Jaworny, is going to be the Hinderer Half-Track Warney from USA Made Blade, because, you know, why not? All right, got all of that out of the way. We got a box. Um, I actually got this uh, in, like I said, the aftermarket. I'm gonna slice him open. And uh, the guy actually lives in South Carolina, just like I do, so that actually worked out really well. Got it really quick. I'm super happy that this was able to not be in the mail system too long, guys. Hey, here we go. Ooh, I like the packaging that he went all out with the bubble wrap. That's some good stuff, guys. Woo! All right. <laughs> More bubble wrap. And then inside paper. Yes, this, guys, this is how knives should be packaged, okay? Especially when they cost as much as these two. <laughs> so, uh, no knife. Just rip into it. So. I have a Koenig box, great stuff. Yep, mini goblin and we have our number on the side. So uh, yeah, let's open it up. Nice magnetic, got our birth card. So this is, here's your birth card guys. Like I said, 2019 is when these stopped being made at least for a little bit from Koenig. Set him off to the side. More bubble wrap, love, 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 love. Let's unroll this puppy. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh, I like that, guys. So I went with a raw tie. Um, and I think that that just makes it look super classy. When you guys did just see that thing. Oh. <laughs> okay. So out of the box, set that off to the side. Let's give it a flick. Ooh, that's crispy, guys. So if I let that drop to my nail... I can wiggle that shut. He did say that he over tightened the pivot, the guy I bought it from. So it's a little bit tighter, it's not quite drop shut. That's fine. One more time, let me see here. Yep, if I push, it opens. Uh, yeah. So there it is open for you guys. Man, that is, that, that's pretty. I do like that. I like that stone wash. Um, let's see how it fits in my hands. Now remember, large glove, seven and a quarter from base to tip and four inches from the outside of my thumb to the other side of my hand. Yeah, I have no problems with that, guys. If you can see right there, I have absolutely no problem with that grip. And my thumb falls right on the jimping. Um, that's nice. So, I'll go ahead and tell you guys this. Is it worth the price I paid? Probably not. <laughs> um, because they're not being made and there's a small aftermarket, these go for uh, like 700 and up. I paid 750. Now, this is probably a $650 knife new straight from Koenig. But the fact of the matter is, 
You can't get them. Um, also, mine has the blue hardware and blue backspacer, so I'll go ahead and uh, shut that so you can see that backspacer there, guys. Very pretty. And then that blue hardware. So now that I have that out, let's open that next to the uh, Hinderer Half-Track Warney, because I want you guys to kind of get a rough idea of size here. So both very cool Warnies, kind of upswept, very cool looking. I like the way they look. Now, a lot of you know that I have an Arius, and I like my Arius. So why not compare it to the Arius? There is your size, guys. Obviously, considerably smaller. Um, I think I like the fit in hand. Um, I can get two fingers comfortably in this first curve here, and then my ring finger kind of sits on this hump, and then I have tons of space back here, which is fine, and it works perfectly well for me. I think it's very comfortable to use and handle. I love the profile on the side. I know that's going to sit in my pocket. I actually like the small flipper tab, because that flipper tab, if you guys didn't see, is small. Like, it is it, it tiny. Like, tiny, tiny. I mean, here's your here's your half track to give you an idea on flipper side. Like, yee, 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 yee. Um, but it's good. Detent brakes, glides right open. It's if I pull, it definitely fires. If I push button, it's more of a like a little bit slow, but if I can get it to really fire if I pull straight down. Yeah, guys, first impressions, I like it. I do. Um, is that a hollow grind? Ooh, ooh, it's hollow. Oh, I thought it was, but I didn't know. Guys, hollow grind is best grind. You heard it here, I'm saying it now, hollow grind is best grind. You get this nice thick at the top and thin behind the edge. Um, I love a good warning because you get a nice robust tip like you get on a like Tanto. I don't know, just, I love it. I love that aggressive design. I, I've always wanted something from Shark Knives. So yeah, guys, that's good. I like that a whole lot. Well, hopefully you guys like this first impression. Um, I'm trying to get a little more reviews out to you guys. Uh, if there's anything else that I have not reviewed recently, let me know. With that being said, go ahead and subscribe, head down to the comments section, like this video, and I will catch you on the next one.